Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. We are tracking a few showers and storms out across parts of middle Georgia this evening. Most of these staying just to our north. You can see most of us are dry right now, but you head over to I-20. We're tracking some of those strong storms that are pushing a little bit further to the south across I-20. So we can expect to see those moving into areas of Hancock County if they hold together, potentially Baldwin County and Washington County. So just a heads up, if you hear a little bit of that thunder, it's nothing that's going to be severe by the time it gets here, likely. So we're just going to see that kind of push through a little bit later on tonight. It's looking out right now on our 41 sky view overlooking downtown Dublin this evening. It's actually been a pretty nice night. We saw those showers and storms push through this afternoon and then behind that some clearing 79 degrees out there right now feels like 82. So definitely still on the muggy side as we are pushing through the rest of the evening and temperatures today made it to 95 degrees once again. So you can only imagine just how hot and muggy it would have been if we had been dry through the whole afternoon before those showers and storms popped up. But we saw those pretty early around one this afternoon. So that really kind of helped us to stay a little bit on the cooler side. We take a look at our temperatures across the area, staying mainly in the 70s for us. 79 in Dublin, seeing 77 in Warner Robins and 79 in Forsyth, and really just kind of a general trend of summertime heat across the southeast. We got 90s still out in places like Dallas, where they're sitting at 94 degrees, 81 over in Montgomery, and 88 in Birmingham. But it's been all about watching those showers and storms that are trying to push into, like I said, some of our northeastern counties. Those are going to continue to push a little bit further to the south so we're not super worried about a ton of coverage for showers and thunderstorms tonight that's mostly going to be as we're heading into tomorrow so you can see on the storm cast a lot of that's going to really fall apart we'll start out with sunshine for tomorrow but by the afternoon we're going to start to see those showers and storms popping up pretty quickly because of the intense heat along with that humidity so those are going to really fire up as we're heading into friday we're just going to rinse and repeat a very similar kind of day as far as those showers and storms are concerned but for tomorrow just going to tell you we do have the potential for some strong and severe storms a level two threat has already been issued for those orange areas on your map. The yellow areas are a level one threat. That's where we could see some potentially damaging wind gusts. We could see some hail and frequent lightning and any storms that pop up tomorrow. Otherwise expected to just be hot, 94 degrees by around 3 p.m. I'm expecting to see those highs really getting into around 96, 97 degree territory in our feels like temperatures around 107 for tomorrow. So it's definitely going to be hot out there. But as we're heading into the weekend, this is where we're going to finally get our cool down. So Saturday, uh, more of a scattered shower type of deal. But by Sunday, it should be a little bit more rainy out there, especially as we're heading into next week. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I-75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7-day forecast from Volume Chevrolet in Forsyth, where temperatures will be hanging out mainly in the mid-90s all the way through the end of the week into Saturday. We're going to see a pretty decent chance for showers each day, but Sunday is really going to be kind of our rainy day ahead of that cold front that's going to drop us down into the 80s. We'll see 80s continuing into Monday, but more scattered showers will continue through next week. For weather updates on the go, download the 41NBC AccuWeather app and follow 41NBC on Facebook and Twitter.